name is Sarah and I'm a head instructor here at Australian Martial Arts Academy and today we're coming to you with a class all about stretching, getting your body moving and feeling better. So today I'm going to start with some very simple basic techniques you can do from home and I'm going to progress these up to more advanced techniques that you can do just to increase your variety and also help you to make sure uh, that you're making the most of your time. So this can be a standalone class where you can do it uh, in your own time or alternatively uh, you can just remember components of this and add this to your daily stretching routine. Uh, so I hope this really helps you uh, to make sure that you're feeling flexible and doing great. Okay, so the first thing we want to do before we start stretching is get your body into alignment. So you want to make sure that you're down in your midline, your shoulders are pulled all the way back. So open up that chest and make sure that your head, sometimes being in front of a mirror can be really important, is actually straight up and down, not slight tilts or slight rotations down, which lots of people get from desk work or from carrying something on their shoulder, um, a bag or something like that, especially with women with handbags, which typically go on the same shoulder every time they walk. So once you're in alignment, check that your feet face forward. Uh, a lot of people also have a turnout, and when we have a turnout, it also often pushes our posture forward. Um, so when we correct, when we turn that those toes straight ahead, it's going to switch our bottom on and help us just to make sure that we're able to do those stretches correctly. So feet straight ahead, hips curled slightly forward, shoulders back and down, so nice long neck, and chin in. So that's our first position for a lot of you, just standing like that is going to feel really, really nice. Um, okay, it's just going to feel like a little stretch or that something's tight. So the first thing we want to do is just open those hands up to the outside and just make sure that that chest is open and you can rotate in and rotate out many times if that's, those shoulders are really tight, especially if you're doing lots of computer work or sitting with poor posture or you've slept um, difficultly. So what we're going to do is we're going to start standing and then we're going to move down uh, and do some stationary stretches and we're going to end up with some dynamic stretches, so some moving stretches. So start with your feet wider than hip width apart and your hands out to the side. And what we're going to do from here is we're going to bring one hand over the top I'm going to look up towards our elbow. So don't worry how far you go, like if that's a stretch for you, don't force it. We're just going to go over the top and look up towards your elbow and come back down. Now as you perform this stretch, you want to ensure that you are making sure that your hand is not in front of your body here, but we're opening up that body. So it's coming with our hand behind our ear as you perform this stretch. So that's a really nice stretch. Let's go ahead and do it on the other side now as well. Okay, look up and hold your stretch for a good 10 seconds. Remember to concentrate on your breathing. Breathe in, breathe out. Go further into your stretch, breathe in, let your body fall and out. So some of the basics of your stretching is to make sure that you're not gripping as you stretch. So breathing can really help with that. So as you breathe in, open your chest, correct your posture, and as you breathe out, go further into your stretch and go down. If you're holding that stretch for multiple breaths, continue trying to go a little bit further. If you go too far, you're gonna end up tensing that muscle. And then instead of improving that flexibility, that next day it's gonna be rock hard. So while it's normal for that stre after stretching, or it's sometimes to come back tighter a little bit the next day, or to feel that you've stretched, especially if you're improving in flexibility, if you're going too far, you're gonna find the results um, don't really come as fast as they probably should or could. Okay, so we've got that body moving a little bit more. Now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna let our body fall. So we're getting that motion through our lower back again. So we're just reaching forward, looking down towards the ground. And as you do this one, again, don't force it, just nice and slowly, head down, looking down towards your knees now, and behind you, and fall down. Now you can move your legs out a little bit further with this stretch, and as you do this, you can try to bring your elbows down towards the ground. You can grab behind the back of your legs, and try to get your head down underneath your body as well. But again, don't force it. We want to make sure that you're able to do this stretch accurately and, and make it fun. There's lots of variations on this stretch. So you can do the exact same motion that we just did where we brought our hand up into the air and we look up. So we're opening up across that rib cage, getting movement into our body. And for a lot of you who do martial arts, you're also going to find that if this is moving more freely, your spinning kicks are going to be a lot easier for you to perform. Okay, and again, we can go forward, and this time you can reach down, 
the side. Hold that stretch for about 10 seconds, either side. That's it, go down, change, alternate your sides as you need to. And come back up. Well done. Okay, so put those legs out to the side. Now we're going to try to open up those hips, okay? So our feet are going to turn from straight ahead out to the side and place your hands on your knees. Now for a little bit you might just walk side to side. And as you do this, just get used to that weight being on your hip. And if it's tight, that might already be enough. And then from there, we're going to sit lower so that our body is in line with the ground. Okay, so parallel to the ground. And we're going to bring our chin in towards our chest, okay? So we're going to reach in with our chin in towards our chest. And push your knees with your elbows out towards the side. So hold that for a minute and just use your elbows to extend your knees going out towards the side. So rotating from in to out. That's it. Hold it. This is one with the hips that's a bigger muscle, so sometimes you have to do it for longer. Concentrate on your breathing. Remember as you go, breathe to go to breathe out. Then you want to make sure you're pushing your knees out as well. Well done. Okay, let's extend that stretch now. So we've got our hands onto our knees. And we're going to drop one shoulder in and just push one knee out to the side now. So again, I'm getting my body parallel to the ground. And then I'm using my hands to push my knees out to the side and open up that hip. Try the other side now. I love stretching. Breathe. Okay, now sometimes if you are really tight, don't force it, just move. And then come back the next day and then try to move them a little bit further. Uh, if you haven't stretched a lot, if you've been working really hard physically or if you've been stationary and sedentary for too long, it can be a little bit tricky uh, to get back into that stretching. So my, my first advice is just go through the motions and don't force it. Just like when you get back to your martial arts class, go through the motions but hold back a little bit for those sessions. Okay, so that one I hope feels really nice now and you're able to rotate between bringing that shoulder in. If you can do it slightly faster, you can rotate between the two and then you can start to just bend from side to side again. So this one as well, for some of you, if your knees are fine, you can drop down and you can just bring those legs out to the side, change those stretches and you can sit into these positions and then go between the different motions. So from straight legs, Forward, side, side, forward, bend your knees, drop down, side, side, and back up. So these are all really great stretches just to get that body moving all from stationary and you can do it on the spot, which is great. Okay, the next stretch we want to do is start to get, we've gone forward, now we want to bring our, our knees up towards our chest, is try to bring that body up. Now with this stretch, the first thing you want to do is grip that body posture. So really big difference, if I'm doing my stretch from here, all of this muscle is really tight. If I can bring my body back upright like this, I'm now lengthening across here and then stretching across that. So you're going to find that that gets a lot better. If you're able to bring your knee up to your chest, then concentrate on bringing your heel towards your hip. Try, change, try the other side this time. So nice high knees again. Hold that for another second. And change, let's do the other leg one more time. Bring that knee up. Good for your balance. Now if you're struggling to balance, especially if you wear a belt, it's nice and easy to just see that your belt is level. So if your belt is level, it's easier to balance. If your hips are out of alignment, one's up, one's down, or if you've got a hip rotation, you're gonna find it difficult to balance, yeah. So correct your posture again, do a hip curl, bring that knee up and try to balance, and then let's switch and try the other leg one more time. That's it, you find the trick is well, squeeze your bottom, the leg on the ground holds you up, so squeeze that bottom to keep your hips stable. Looking good there, everyone. So that's a nice little way to get started or a different routine before your classes. Uh, let's get those, that chest nice and open again as well. Uh, so the first one we're going to do with our hand is just put our hands behind our back. Okay, so from this position, if you can't go the whole way, that's no problem. Just 
go from here and then we're just going to push that elbow back as far as you can. And, and try not to force it, so if it's only here or here, that's okay, you might be really tight across the triceps, you might be tight across your ribs, bring it up from here. Remember to continue breathing, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, and breathe out. Well done. Okay, so ready? Let's go into some of our lunge shapes this time. So when you're doing the lunge, you can do them quite a few different ways, but the trick is to make sure that your hips face in the direction that you're traveling. So ready, we're traveling with our feet straight ahead. So my hips face straight ahead too. And I'm going to bend my knee so that it comes up in line with my toes. I don't want to go over my toes. So if I can go in line with my toes, I'm going to step that lunge forward. I'm going to try to keep this back leg straight for now and just lean into this stretch. So this is a little bit like a forward split, but without extending that front leg. And my weight is held up. Now from here, you can bring your hands up above your head. And if you've got a tight lower back, you will feel this stretch. But ideally, get those hands up above your head and straight arms. Okay, your hip on the ground should be holding out to that, that front leg. Now we're going to straighten that leg. And we're going to come all the way down. And we're going to bring that head down towards our leg. So this is your upper hamstring strengthener. So as you do this one, we've gone from our lunge into our straight leg position and we're bringing our head down towards the ground. Okay? Very nice. Our next position we do is we switch and we face the other way. Okay, ready? So we're going into our lunge position again, keeping that back leg straight, hands up above our head, and you bring them behind your ears. Look straight ahead for now, so face me if you can. And go lower into your stretch. Straighten your legs and bring your head down towards your front knee. You're going to feel this more in your hamstring, but your upper hamstring, which is a great stretch for you to feel. Okay, so now let's add an extra stretch into this routine, and it might become one of your favorite morning routines. So, we're going to go lunge, sit into your lunge, Bring your hands up above your head. Sit back. Look down. Come back into your push-up position. Lunge. Drop the knee. Sit back. And look into that push-up position. So let's do that one more time. Are you ready? So we're going lunging. And we can put our hands down. Lean forward. Sit back. Good lunge, switch your legs, drop the leg, sit back. Good. Let's add another one into this routine. So I'm just going to teach you this in isolation first and we'll build up to a longer routine. So the first one we're going to do is just put our hands down on the ground and our toes are on the ground here too. And we're going to lift our hips into the, ground, into the air and look towards your knees. Now you want to bring your head closer to your knees without moving your hands. So you bring your head in as close as you can so that you're upside down. You can now walk your feet out to so stretch out across your calves and alternate those steps. Breathe in. If it's easy, you can bring your hands a little bit closer now and then try to increase that stretch coming down this way, stepping in. Okay, lift one leg up into the air. Look towards that knee. And change. Looking towards that knee. And change. Try to get your leg higher into the air. And change. Good, let's do it again. One leg into the air. And to the side. This is like a reverse hip kick. So your leg is up, and then you bend and you open up your hip. And change. One leg into the air. Bend and open up that hip. Okay, well done. Come back onto all fours. Okay, so you're ready to make that into a little routine? Okay, it's quite a long one, so let's have some fun with it. I don't really mind if you can't keep up with all of the different ones. Do the one that feels good. That's the great thing about stretching is it just 
In those days where it's really tough, come back, do those things that you love, do that feel good, uh, that make your body feel better, and go with that. Okay, so ready. We're starting on all fours. We're gonna curl our back. We're gonna change. We're gonna go into our V and look at our knees. We're gonna lift one leg in the air. And we're gonna change. And we just step down into our lunge. Bring our hands up above our head. We're gonna sit back and we're gonna look at our knee. You guys are doing great. We're gonna go up into our V. We're gonna bring one leg into the air. We're gonna bring the other leg up into the air. Well done. We're gonna lunge that other leg forward. We're gonna bring our hands up into the air. We're gonna sit back. Very good. And we're gonna come back up into our V. Now from this position, you're going to bring one leg in front but on the side. So as you do this pigeon stretch, your knee should be to the side of your body. So you bring your knee out to the side of your body, yep. And your heel should be on your opposite hip. And then you're just going to fall down into that stretch. Aim to get your head down towards the ground. So let's check this out. My knee points out to the side. My left hip is going to my right heel. My body can be upright if I like, if I want to stretch out across the front, or I can just lower the body down towards the ground and relax. Feels good. Hold that stretch, and let's turn around and face the other way. So ready? So we don't want to have our foot with the knee pointing straight ahead. It's the knee out to the side, so we're opening up, leaning on top of that foot. So if it feels good to stretch up, stretch up. Otherwise, we're dropping down and enjoy that stretch. You're very flexible. Feel free to grab that back leg and you'll feel that stretch across the front of your leg as well. Just that quadricep. Looks good. Very nice. Okay. And walk back up into your V and get those hands to raise up and stretch up into the air on your tippy toes and just rotate side to side. Okay, so we're feeling good. We haven't even touched the ground yet. So let's do a couple of ground stretches and we might make a second session for your videos as well. Uh, if you're enjoying these, let me know what you want more of so that we can make sure you get your plenty of great stretching te techniques at home. Okay, so this one that we're gonna do from the ground is one of my favorite ones. And I think most people should do this for five minutes every day. So it's your butterfly stretch from your classes, but your hands are also out with your palms facing up. So if you drop your knees out to the side, and then we have our hands out in line with our shoulders. So what's really important is a lot of people are gonna find your hands are either here, or if you're really tight, they're up here. So again, you want good posture, pull those shoulders back, and in a straight line, you wanna have those palms out, so move around if you need to, or if you're on mats, it's great because you can use the physical line. So if I've got my shoulders on this red-blue line here, I drop my knees out to the side, and I place my hands in line with that pad. So if this hand's not in line, I can move it up and down as I need to. And I want to stretch out my arms as far as I can go and do a chin retraction. Whereas where I pull my chin in towards my chest and look up. And that's actually a neutral position. And you should lay like this for five minutes every day. Just so those knees gently fall and those hands fall down. Try to get your fingertips to fall towards the ground also. Breathe in. Expand your chest. A lot of people tense it or try to let, not let their tummy come out. Let your tummy fall. Breathe in. Expand your chest like a balloon. Breathe out. Deflate that balloon. So let's do that for five minutes. Are you ready? And not really five minutes. You can do it in your own time. We'll just do a couple of rotations. And this might be a nice one for you if you wake up in the, in the morning with headache or tight shoulders. Breathe in. Bend that chest, breathe out. Deflate that room, breathe in. Breathe out. Try to get your fingertips if they're curling up to drop down towards the ground. Breathe in. Breathe out. 
breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Okay, one of my favorite stretches from this position is just to curl that hip in and bring our knee up towards our chest. You can straighten the leg on the ground if it feels good. And breathe in. And as you breathe out, bring your knee closer to your body. Now from here we're going to extend the leg. Now from this position, I don't want to see the leg moving away from your body. So even if you can only have a small extension of your leg, okay, I want that knee to stay close. You're really going to target that upper hamstring. And if you haven't done this stretch before, you're probably going to feel it tomorrow. So you're going to keep that knee close to your body and just extend that leg up into the air. Very good. And you can do it the other way around and you're pushing the knee away but straightening the leg. Try to pull your toes back this time so you're getting that full stretch through your calf all the way down the back of your leg to your hip. Okay, let's try it with the other side this time. Our knee comes up, tight towards our chest. We breathe in, we breathe out, we breathe in, we breathe out. Try to straighten that leg now, but without your knee coming away from your chest. And come back, try to straighten your leg, but let your knee move freely. Great. And this one is one of my favorite stretches, so I have lots of favorites. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to lift up our knee and we're going to bring it across to the side here and just stretch. Now look towards your hand. So this is my right leg, this is my left hand. So my right knee is going to my left hand and I'm going to look towards my right hand now. And you can straighten that leg and try to bring it in line with your hands also. It's a great stretch if you're tight across that hip or so your lower back. And change, come back. Again, just check your position, check your shoulders are in line, check your hands are in line, and bring your knee up. So it's my left knee, my right hand, and I bring it across to the right hand side, and I'm looking at my left hand. And again, I can extend that knee in line with my hands. So not my hand to my leg, my leg to my hand. And your leg should be straight for this exercise. If it's in the air, it can't fall, but you feel it in your hip, you're still doing the stretch well. And our last one, stretching up, looking up. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. And look up towards your knees. Walk those hands up and standing up. I hope this has helped you. We haven't gotten onto your dynamic stretches and there's so many that we could do. I'm so excited to help you to learn as many stretches as possible and to have fun performing them, correct that posture and feel great. Uh, if you're interested in some more, let us know and we'll make you plenty of more sessions and more videos just about your stretching and getting your body into alignment. Thank you.